And thank you. With the release of the COVID-19 vaccines and universities closing for spring break, many college students are hitting the road, traveling to sunshine, warmth and the outdoors. Wanting to take a break from all the pandemic mayhem, but College students are finding a different kind of trouble. This past weekend in Miami, more than 150 people were arrested for violating COVID precautions. Police even had to use pepper spray to break up large groups. This is what Blanca Cobb and I are talking about this morning. Good morning, Blanca. Good morning. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We know that our country isn't in the clear yet. So what would be a reason that people wouldn't adhere to those COVID safety regulations? Great question, and there's more than one reason. Some people just don't believe in the virus, regardless of what the science says. There's others who don't believe that their risk, they don't have a big risk, they're gonna minim they feel that their risk is minimized, particularly now that all the vaccines are rolling out. There's some people that will just follow the crowd because they want that acceptance, so they're not really taking personal responsibility, and others who ju are just bored. They want some excitement because everyone has been cooped up for the past year. And speaking of that responsibility, it seems like, you know, most college students go to spring break with friends instead of their family. So is there any point in parents talking to those kids about COVID safety? Absolutely. It never hurts to give reminders and talk about the reality of people who actually get COVID and the complications, health complications that can have a result. So talking about the safety, giving those reminders of the dangers, but then Really help your child, your college student, figure out what to do when they're out with friends and their friends aren't following the rules, the safety precautions, how they can get away, how they can handle those awkward conversations and actually have an escape plan. So what that means, even if they're out with friends, you know, they're taking an extended weekend or they're on spring break, how can they come back home? And that's a really important conversation because sometimes you might talk to somebody, you may not change their behavior, you have to change your own. And sometimes the best way of doing that is getting away from the group. Yeah, tough conversations, but necessary. Blanca, thank you. And you can continue this conversation with Blanca on her Facebook page. That is Blanca Cobb, body language expert.